Hello everybody, welcome back to Law 1 Gaming, my name is Eric, and this is Dark Souls 2. And I think I know where we can find Luca Deal, luckily enough. So, I'm gonna go ahead, put down my sign, and hopefully we can get up to our 20th Sunlight Medal. So from my understanding, whoa god no, why, 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 why? I thought you were all dead. Okay. Oh yeah, I rested at the bonfire, didn't I? Yep, that's what I did. Bonk, bonk. Okay, run away. Let's take care of you. Let's take care of you. And let's take care of you. There we go. And pop a life gem. Okay. Item! Chunks! I love chunks. Doop, 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 doop. There we go. Take out this guy again. Or not. There we go. Move on to his brother, Dorcas 2. That was close. That was super close. Alright. You saw it here first. First time I ever got hit by one of those bastards. Okay, we're just gonna run past these. Sort of. I do want to kill them. Bonk, bonk. Come on, come on. I got you. Ooh. Eh, it's just a large. But that's still good. So apparently, from the first bonfire, we go. Let's go ahead and light up. Light torch. We go left, and we look for a platform down on the right. Which I believe we did last time. Oh. I saw that. Okay. Very carefully now. Careful, careful. There we go. That was close. Hey! Oh. You... My thoughts are very scattered. What is this curse? The question rings in my mind, but I haven't the focus to answer it. Loss frightens me no end. Loss of memory, loss of self. If I were told that by killing you, I would be freed of this curse, then I would draw my sword without hesitation. Good now. I don't want to die. I want to exist. I would sacrifice anything, anything at all for this. It shames me, but it is the truth. Sometimes I feel obsessed with this insignificant thing called self. But even so, I am compelled to preserve it. Am I wrong to feel so? Surely you do the same in my shoes. Maybe we're all cursed from the moment we're born. Sometimes I. Yeah, okay, we got enough of that. So Luca Teal has been talked to, and we're starting this episode with a bit of a downer. Okay. So, I believe everything around here has been killed yet again. Our sign's down, so we're not going to see their summon signs. But there are two NPCs that can help us with this fight. One has a bow and arrow. One is Lucatiel. And I'm going to go ahead and use both, actually. So. We're going to cancel our sign. Who are you? You're 
not move the teal. That's the bow and arrow, dude. Got that. and dice. Question remains, where the hell do we actually summon Lucatiel? Alright, I know where. I said confidently before I didn't know where. Here we go. Now we'll summon the other NPC unless I see a gold sign. I don't see a gold sign. We're gonna summon the other NPC. Lone Hunter. Look at Teal. Alright. We got this. Alright. Heading on in. And since we have NPCs, we can finally just watch the cutscene. Without guilt. Not that I really had much guilt for anything else, but... Whatever. I like how the heads look like eyes are bulging out. Okay, that's a good way to start off the fight. Jeez. Uh, Sunny D. Okay. Let's get this guy taken care of. What are you doing? Ouch. Okay. Sunny D. Oh. Alright. Slow and steady for the most part. Okay. More hits. And back off. Ouch. Okay, circling around. Oopsie daisy. What do you got? What do you got? Nothing. Here we go. More hits. Okay. Okay. Sunny D, save me. Oh, Luca Teal's getting kind of low. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off. Yeah, we did it! Great soul embraced. Luca Teal has been saved. And we did it with just our NPCs. Go ahead and toss our sign down one last time. I say one last time. We still need at least ten more. Okay. So there's that item over there. We will go for it. Fire seed. Ironically enough. And now we have done it. We've gone and killed the four first big bosses. And they're being summoned. We'll go ahead and wait. And we have also simultaneously opened up the area the DLC. Uncle Creepy? Hello! I will tank for you, Uncle Creepy. You're my favorite uncle. Alright, let's do this. Amro. 
It's me. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay. Alright. What do you got? What do you got? Yeah, you got nothing. Look out. Ooch. Life gem. Okay. Push, 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 push. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You got nothing. Okay. There we go. We did it! We've now reached level two of the Sunlight Covenant. Uncle Creepy. Thank you, Uncle Creepy and Amro. Sunlight Metal. Hooray! Okay. And... Switch over to the gold ring. What's inside? More treasure? Oh, bone dust. That's good. We can go up to plus five on our Estus flask now. So here is the primal bonfire. It has been lit. And this is the area to the DLC. The city of the Sunken King sleeps, as does the dragon within. With water dry and path amiss, Wolf of Temptation is dismissed. Trespassers will face adversity befitting a monarch. Forbidden is the path to the ancient king's domain. Fuck that, let's go! So the DLC is basically going to be in three parts. The first part's already out, the second two parts are still coming. And what's over here? Nope, just light and torches. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing else around here. So let's go ahead and get inside. Open the door. Look at all that stuff on the door. Walk on in. Unlike the DLC for Dark Souls 1, we're not just going to get smacked in the face within the first two seconds of entering. Which is always nice. And here we are! The Sunken City. It's very pretty. And also, that guy's sleeping. <gasps> Can we wake him up? Sort of. I don't want to anymore. There he goes, folks. He's off for a better and brighter future. As are we. Sort of. We're not actually going to start up the DLC just yet. We're going to go ahead and just light the bonfire, though. That way we can get back here whenever we want. Anything down here in particular, though? Well, growth ball. I do want to do a little exploring. I am curious. Hmm. 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 No. Nope, 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 nope. I do not trust medieval elevators. Not in the slightest. So let's go ahead and go to the Covenant and get rank two. Right. Heading on through this friggin' place again, which we still have not really explored. But who cares? We got Dwarf. There we go. I'm okay with that. And head on over here to the covenant. Let me double check. Uh, yes, 10 sunlight metals. Okay, we're good. We're good. Please tell me. Yes! Thank you. 
I approve. Wholeheartedly. Alright. Go ahead and offer some medals. This takes a bit and is rather tedious. But we will get to level 2 out of 3. This might be a good time to head to the restroom, go to the kitchen, make some snack, file your taxes, learn a new language. You know, something that takes goddamn forever. Okay. Thank God they didn't make it so we could do this very quickly. That would have been nice. Oh, yeah, we got a sun sword. Okay. What does the sun sword do? All right. A well-forged longsword of unknown origin and exhibiting no special power, but sturdily crafted. Perhaps it does not live up to its name, but nevertheless, merely wielding this sword seems to cause warmth to well up within one's bosom. So it's based on dex and strength fairly equally, and appears to be quite light. Uh, but we're not going to go ahead and deal with it right now. But we have it! We can use it. Let's, eh, we'll show it off a little bit. Let's see the moveset. So, here's the Sunlight Sword. Pretty rusty looking. Not too special. That's the one attack. That's the two attack. I kind of like the two attack. Let's two handed leg. Okay. And a uh, power attack. Eh, I like it. Roll. And like that. Okay. As opposed to this guy, where it has a much more up and down arc. And the first one's not a stabby stab. Okay. What are you? Yeah, no kidding. All right, we are getting ever closer to our goal of becoming true sun-like bros. And we are making our way through the game with uh, relative ease, I guess. I don't know. Um, I think all we're gonna do now is just head back to Majula, so. Uh, not too much else to watch, I guess. This is going to do it for this episode. This has been Law 1 Gaming, so if you enjoyed what you saw, please like, comment, or subscribe. Otherwise, wait, baby. Oh. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.